Hello, this short tutorial is going to teach you the basics of making a pretty simple skateboard deck um, using Fusion 360. It's going to show you using slightly different features to what you're used to using before rather than using uh, the usual kind of extrude features which, which you're used to using. What we're actually going to do is we're actually going to leave the model workspace and I'm going to patch and we're actually going to use a surface and use what we call a sweep. If you look at skateboard decks, so here's just an image of a skateboard deck, you'll notice that they, they have this kind of concave shape which runs down the length of the board. So it's not actually just, just flat, it's not just an extruded feature. You've obviously then got your nose and your tail as well. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and kind of sketch that um, and then run it down a path which is going to be the shape of it. The way we're going to do it is we're going to do half the skateboard and then we're going to mirror it. So both halves will be the same on skateboards that you actually buy in the shops, the, the front and the back is, is slightly different, the nose and the tail are slightly different. Um, you are more than welcome to go through and, and, and sketch the whole shape of it and have them different if you want, um, or you can just stick to this, but this is, is the basics. Um, so, obviously the first thing we need to do is we're gonna start a new, a new design, and we're gonna create, first of all, the path that we're gonna um, project the, the shape along. So it's pretty simple to start with. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, sketch a line. It's asking me obviously for the plane that I wanna sketch on now. I'm gonna choose the front plane. So if I just click on that, it obviously spins it around. And then it's asking for where on my first point. I'm gonna start my first point from uh, right in the center here. That is my kind of zero, 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 my datum in my 3D world. So if I start it from there and start to project it to the right hand side, uh, and what I'm gonna do, my first line I'm gonna put in is two, two, three. Uh, the reason I'm putting it in as 223 is because I want to make a skateboard that is going to be about 700 millimeters long. So what I've done is I've, I've kind of looked at the dimensions of everything. So you're welcome to use these dimensions. Once you've done it this way, you can always come back into this sketch and edit them to be to be what you want. The, the skateboard that we're going to be designing is going to be about 700 millimeters long and about 180 millimeters wide. And that really suits our vacuum molds that we use and also the veneers that we use as well so it is quite a good size for that so that's quite a nice one to stick with but again, but again you can you can you know edit and, and, and model it slightly different uh, depending on what you want to do so this is the 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 kind of first bit of my board and now I'm going to do my tail we'll call it the tail so I'm going to have obviously another line coming up at an angle now the the length of the line I'm not actually that bothered about what I actually want to measure is is between um, the two points not just the length of the line but I want it still in the in the horizontal. Uh, so actually I'm not going to bother about putting in a dimension for a line at the moment but I do want it 20 degrees from the horizontal. So rather than entering a dimension all I'm going to do is I'm going to press tab on the keyboard and that's just jumped to the to the degrees and I'm just going to enter 20 and then press enter. What I can do now is use a really useful tool called sketch dimension. If you press D on your keyboard what it does is that's the shortcut for sketch dimension. Um, it's also in sketch, so you can see if I go into sketch and get down to the bottom, you see I've got a sketch dimension there. You can also access it if you press the right mouse button and uh, go down to sketch that way, but that's quite a long-winded way of doing it. The far easier way is to use the shortcut, which is D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to a dimension between the two points, and obviously if I raise it then it gives me actually the length between the two points. Okay. Um, this length I want it to be 127, and that probably makes a little bit more sense now. Obviously, 223 plus 127, 350, that's half the length of the skateboard, but I want 700. The final thing I need to do in this sketch, this is our path, is to create a fillet between these two points here. Obviously, on a skateboard, it is not um, a sharp angle uh, where it goes from the main body to the, to the nose or the tail. There is a fillet to it. So I'm just going to put a, a radius in here of 120 millimeters, which is really easy to do. It's just in the sketch feature. So, sorry, in the sketch menu, go through the fillet click on one line, click on the other, and then obviously enter the radius, and I'm doing it 120. And you can see what it's done there is it's then got a bit more of a smooth transition between the two lines. Once I've done that, that's it. That is my path done, so I'm happy with that. I've got all my dimensions. You can see everything on there is exactly how I wanted it. So I can now click Stop Sketch. I click on my little Home button. You can see what we've got now is we've got our path. What we need to do now is we need to uh, sketch our shape. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to sketch uh, a little arc down here. We're going to start by sketching it as a circle um, with uh, a radius of about 500, 508, 
and actually this shape here, we can actually do, it is actually a full circle. So if you imagine that's a full circle, that's what we're gonna start with. So again, we're gonna to go to sketch and I'm just gonna sketch a circle um, with a, a diameter. And now it's asking me for which plane I wanna draw on now. You've gotta be a bit careful with this bit because you need to draw it on the correct plane. So what I'm gonna do eventually is I'm gonna be sketching the arc and it's gonna it's gonna be um, then projected down this line to the end. So if I do it on the incorrect plane, it won't be able to do that. So what I need to do is make sure I'm using the plane that is kind of head on to the line, which is this one here, it's the right plane. When it spins around, you shouldn't see your line going across the page. Your line actually is, is kind of in front of me. And you can see this is the kind of nose or the tail sticking up. That's what it's going to be eventually. So that's what you should see. What I'm then going to do is I'm drawing quite a big circle. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom out, place my center of my circle somewhere on this central plane here. Uh, and then the circle I'm going to draw is a diameter of 1016. Now again, I'm just get that back up again, 1016. Now again, the reason for that is just because I took these dimensions off the internet, um, and that was just one of the one of the arcs that we had. Now, although we've got a, a large circle, I only actually want a tiny amount of this circle. I only want about I only want 180 millimeters because that's the width of our deck. I only want 180 millimeters across the circle there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to draw a line in and just select that. So I'm going to select my line tool and I'm gonna make sure I am intersecting with my circle on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is draw a line going across, making sure it's at naught degrees. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure I intersect on the other side. Once I've done that, we can obviously then go back to our sketch dimension. I'm then gonna dimension the line, and the width of my board is gonna be 180. And there we go, so I've now got 180. So this is actually the only piece that I need. The only issue you've got now is I zoom out by putting in that line, you probably see that it's actually jumped off the center. You can see the center point has actually jumped off the line. And I actually need the bottom of the board, which is this bit here, so this is the actual deck. I actually need that actually on that line there. So what we're gonna do now is use quite a useful tool, which is to the move tool. I'm gonna to move the center of this circle to make sure that we've got it in the right place. So if I right click, I get this option here, which is to move and copy. And then it gives me lots of different options for move and copy. And actually, you can do a free move. If you do a free move, what it'll do is it'll let you grab the actual part and move it um, in these two axes. But actually, what I'm going to do is actually enter some, some numbers, which is a bit easier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a point to a position um, actually in, in our space here. And it just uses the x, y, and z coordinates, which is, which is nice and easy to work with. So if I click on point to position, the first thing it's asking me is, well, what do you want to move? Well, I want to move the circle and also the line. So it's going to move those together. It's asking what point do you want to use? I want to use the center of my circle. And then it's giving me my coordinates. Now the X position is zero. That's because we're looking at X. So, you know, we're looking down onto it. So that you, obviously you can't have anything apart from zero. It's a bit like working on a piece of paper, if you like. The uh, Y position, we obviously want that to be the radius of our circle, which obviously is 508. And the Z position, well, that's dead on this central uh, central plane, so we want that to be zero. And then if I click OK, you can actually see it's now moved it perfectly um, in line with that. So you can see this is going to be our deck. Now, before I kind of project this, I want to get rid of everything that I don't need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, tr the trim feature. So the trim menu, click on that, the circle, click on the line as well, and you can see what we're left with is now our deck. 180 millimeters wide with a diameter of 1016 millimeters. Um, and, and that's it for that. So if I now stop sketch, go to my home, you can now see what's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a surface using this as a reference. We're then going to project it along this line to create kind of half your shape. So what we need to do now is we need to leave the model uh, workspace and we're going to go to the patch workspace which is basically us creating surfaces, which is quite a nice thing to work with. And you'll see that your, your kind of dashboard, this bit is now changed. And our create, in our create, we now have what's known as a sweep. So if I select sweep, it's gonna ask me a few questions again. So it's saying single path, what profile do you want? That's the profile I want, because this is our, our deck. It's then gonna say, what path do you want to follow? And if I click on that straight away, you can see it then creates the path. If I rotate that round slightly, I uh, just grab this arrow here, 
you can see what it's doing and if I start it at the beginning there and then move it through you can see it literally is just projecting along that path from one side to the other and obviously the distance of one basically just means that you're actually you know it's almost like you're getting 100% along the path if you like uh, we are also creating a new body even though it's a surface we can't really do much with the surface but we can change that in a minute so I click OK that looks fine to me so we've got kind of half our skateboard but at the moment it is a surface and there's not much we can do with the surface and if I actually go into bodies you can see it's actually got a surface in there what we actually want is a solid with a solid we can do a lot more with it we can you know do a lot of cam stuff with it um, obviously engineering drawing and stuff like that um, and um, we can also uh, you know use it for, for for more features than we can just use a surface for so with our create in there we have a menu called thicken so if I click on thicken again it's going to ask me a few questions so faces I'm just going to select this face here I'm going to select four millimeters now it's actually an eight millimeter thick board this one that I'm doing but as you can see what I've done is I selected symmetric so what it's doing is it's it's selecting it symmetrically around um, our surface that we created so it's doing it on both sides and that's just a quite a nice way of doing it so four millimeters either side so it's obviously going to be eight millimeters in total and that gives us a new body so if I click OK and now you can see we've got a bit more something that looks a little bit more like a skateboard uh, not quite there yet but it is getting there uh, we now need to obviously mirror it <coughs> put a few rounds on and, and make it look a bit more like a skateboard so if I go back to my model workspace what we can do now is we can now go into modify and do some fillets so the first fillet I'm going to do is I'm going to round the ends now technically with a skateboard it's not you know a continuous round on the ends um, now I've selected them I know the width of my skateboard is 180 so obviously if I put my radius in at 90 <coughs> what it will do is it will round the end uh, nice and neatly if you look at a, a real skateboard an actual skateboard that you buy you'll find it's actually a couple of radiuses so you have a little radius here and then you have the nose radius now again if you want to go in and make it more complicated you're more than welcome to do that um, these are just the basics so I've now done that you can now see we've got a bit more of a, a skateboard shape and now obviously what we need to do now is we need to mirror this to create the same on the other side so again, it's, it's very easy to do. It's just simply in Create, go down to Mirror. Again, it's going to ask you a few things. Make sure you've got the body selected, not the faces. Um, it does default to faces, so if you click on Bodies, you can then just simply on, click on Body 2, because that's the only one we've got. The mirror plane we want to select is the plane which obviously you're going to mirror it about, which is quite easy to see. It's obviously going to be this one. Uh, so if I click on that, it puts in this kind of ghosted image to say, is it, is it the correct one? Well, it is. So if I click OK, we can then see, if I click on the little home button, I've got something that looks a bit more like a skateboard. All skateboards obviously have rounded edges, uh, but there's no point in having these sharp corners. Um, they would obviously chip quite easily. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create just a little 3mm round, round every single edge, which you know does actually, in terms of aesthetics as well, makes it look a little bit better. Exactly the same way as you did the other fillet. So if I click on Modify, click on Fillet, I'm now going to select the top edge, on both sides and I'm also going to select the bottom edge on both sides you can see it straight away realized what I want to do and if I put in my radius as 3 um, and then click OK you can see what it's done there is it's now put in uh, the kind of round on the edge which you know looks a lot better um, so that's it really that's the basics of how to do your, your skateboard deck uh, we'll put some more videos up on how to model your holes um, add decals as well so when obviously you've done your graphics on Photoshop we'll show you how to add your decals uh, on, the top, on the top and the bottom with the grip tape uh, and your graphics and also we'll do an assembly of how to bring all your parts together um, so you can then obviously do your, your technical drawings.